this. We've known each other our whole lives, near enough. Henry! I'm glad to see you. Matthew! Fritz! You're alive! Of course we're alive. You can't get rid of us that easily. I'm almost surprised how happy I am to see the pair of you are all right. We are now, but we barely need it. Yeah, yeah, it was hard. Fritz ran like a little girl. Really? Bollocks! Bloody joker. <laughs> Tell us what happened to you. They gave me a pretty good thrashing as well. It was only in Rat Eye that I got back in my right mind. You're not doing too well either, are you? Well, I'm just getting by the best I can. Nothing to get excited about. At least you had something to eat. Nah. And how are you two getting by? It's shit. You said it. We're still chopped after bits. Oh, the monastery a bundle. And there's no work here. Not for anyone with more than half a brain, anyway. No one's interested in two good carpenters in Sassau. No one. And we looked everywhere. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know of anything. It will really help us out right now. I'll find you something. You can rely on me. Thanks, Henry. We'll pay off the debt. Don't you worry. What other neighbours of ours made it? Your hunkers in the monastery. That girl really helped us out. That's about all we know. When we ran for it, we helped Teresa. But who knows where she is now? We got separated. I owe my life to Teresa. She hauled me unconscious to the mill in Ratai and nursed me back to health. I'm glad she survived. Since you know her so well, why not try asking her if she knows about any work? And where would they hire you to? Well, we were carpenters in the mines, so wherever they work with wood, I suppose. Forget about construction. After Scarlet's, no one will be building for a long time. Just here in Sassau, and they don't want us here. The best chance we have is to work at a mill. People always have to eat. Ideally, we're looking for a job that pays a lot and doesn't require much work. So, boy, want me to sing? God be with you. The Lady of Talmberg sent me. She wants me to find out why the crown's been delayed. Uh, through no fault of ours, I can tell you that. We had a large stone ordered for mounting on the crown, a beautiful Moldavite from South Bohemia that we had cut and polished in Prague. But, well, in short, the good merchant, Martin Wiesek, who was supposed to bring it from Prague, got lost along the way. It's like the ground swallowed him up. Well, Lady Stephanie won't be happy. Uh, look, we've got something else here we can replace the stone with, but I'm sure even you can see it's not worthy of a noble wedding and definitely not worthy of our fine craftsmanship. Oh, if I only had someone who'd try to find the Moldavite. Uh, why don't you just ask me? Of course I'll try to find the stone. Just tell me where the fellow was seen last. Well, that fellow, as you call him, the esteemed merchant, Martin Wiesek, was last seen riding alongside the Sassau River. 
passing by the footbridge over the ford, to the west of here. Evidently, he never made it to Sassau town. Hmm. Well, I'll look for him, but he could be far over the mountains by now, or under the ground. Jesus Christ be praised. About that Moldavite we discussed? Yes. Do you have some news? Yes. Uh, the good news is I found Vizek. That sounds like cause for rejoicing, but how come he isn't with you? That's the bad news. He didn't survive. Merciful God. He was a good and highly respected man. I will pray for his soul. Anyway, let me see the stone, if you would be so kind. Of course. Here it is. Excellent. It looks undamaged. I'll get straight to work. You can come for the finished crown tomorrow evening. What about the crown? Is it finished? I seem to recall telling you exactly when the crown will be finished. And that time isn't yet.
What about the crown? Is it finished? I'm a man of my word. Of course it's finished. Here you have it. Thank the Lord you found that Moldavite. It wouldn't be the same without it. <laughs>